Okay, for problem one, the first thing that I'm going to notice in this particular reaction is the fact that I have two products that have a bromine and an alcohol that are trans to one another. And that's really the difference between these two products, right? That's the only thing that's the difference between those two products. That leads me to think that, okay, my last step was most likely using bromine and water, and I had an alkene. An alkene that really contains everything else up there, including the CH3 groups, here and here, as well as the one that's right here, right? So, I then need to figure out how to make this. Well, this actually looks like a really good Diels Alder product. And so, to make this guy, I'm going to suggest that this be one of my, right here, one of my Diels Alder reactants because these CH3 groups being cis would actually make these guys go to the same side of that molecule, right? We would also add to that something that looked like this. Because notice that's everything that we have over here. Well, the cool thing is, is that that means that this double bond would end up right there that is right there. Hey, that's a Diels Alder product, right? So now we need to figure out which one of these <clears throat> really starts off as being our starting material. And I hope that you see that. It's actually the fact that this guy right here we can easily make from here, right? So how we do that is to first add NaNH2 that's a strong base that'll remove that hydrogen off the end here and allow that to react with an alkyl halide such as CH3, pick your halide, I'm going to use BR here. That'll give you this CH3 right there. And then we're going to repeat that. So again, NaNH2, followed by I'll pick another one this time just for giggles. There we go. And then here's the important thing in the next step. We're going to actually end up getting this product, right? We need to add Lindler's catalyst. Now, if you recall, there's two ways to do reductions on alkynes to get alkenes. Lindler's catalyst in H2 will give you the cis product. If you just did palladium on carbon, then you wouldn't end up with an alkene at all. You'd actually end up with an alk uh, alkane. You could also do Na and NH2. That would give you the trans product. So that's definitely not what you want in this particular case. Now, so this, this is actually a completed problem at this point. Okay. I do want to point out one other thing. I've seen some people attempt this particular problem in a Diels Alder going in this direction. That will give you, excuse me, let me write that again. A product that looks like this. Now whether you add Br2 in water or palladium on carbon and H2, both of these reactants will react with both of these double bonds. That's why we actually cannot use that synthetic route to get to that product. 